They'll be calling you a radical. Well, we're getting confirmation of what I've been saying the entire time. I know one guy that's been screaming his head off in a very cute fashion. Fukushima, Fukushima, the Pacific Genocide I named it so long ago. This story actually physically makes me cry emotionally. Angry? Oh yeah, I've been angry the whole time in a very cute way. The people that did this, they need to be called out by name. It needs to be recorded in history. 100% mortality rate in the orcas. And these people are saying, I've been saying the Pacific Ocean is dying for a long time. Fukushima, Fukushima, the greatest ecological catastrophe in human history ongoing. And you are so, the, the American populace, the world populace is just like nothing. You know, you're in California, you talk to people, it's like, you have a conversation with Fukushima, it's like they're tranquilized. They live in this bubble, this virtual world. You know, I go to Livermore and protest. The law, which was put into law in 1986, the Surveillance Act, which I keep a copy of it in my back pocket, so I can read it. You can't go in, you can't touch it, but I videotape right up to the fence. Inside, they're all over, which they won't let you in, and you cannot videotape inside. And I've been all over, I protest all these places. This acute fight of mine, you know, because of my leukemia? No, the leukemia because of this. The tail's not wagging the dog with me. Oh no. So it says, bringing star power to Earth. Oh, they did it. They did it. You know, Barack Obama will be recorded as the worst president in history in, re in regard to the environment. The worst president in history, bar none. That's easy, Dick Cheney. The worst president of the British Petroleum, he could have bombed it closed the first day. He did not. Went on for how long? Allowed the disbursement to be freaking hammered on it. And I want to say this to the Green Party, the far left in the United States. The Green Party in Germany, that's a real Green Party. The Green Party in India, that's a real Green Party. You know, it, it's so outrageous. I'll talk a little bit about the plutonium wars that go in Russia. Jill Stein, the only thing green about the Green Party in the United States is their bank account. You're going to fight Keystone Pipeline. That's your baby. Barack Obama is the worst president in the United States history in regard to the environment, bar none. Bar none. And it's going to be recorded that way. Barry Antoinette, let them eat yellow cake. Fukushima, Fukushima, fu and just the word, Fukushima. Synonymous with environmental death and poisoning. 100% mortality rate in the orcas. The mystery goo. The dead starfish. The barnacles. You know, John Kirk, who owns the battleboard business, told me yesterday, he says, you can walk on the rocks, there's no barnacles no more. That's in Vancouver. I mean, in I've been to the tidal pools from below San Diego all the way to Eugene, Oregon. I've been up and down all of them for three years. Walked holes in my shoes. It's amazing. It's heartbreaking. This is heartbreaking. I want to talk about the plutonium wars going on in the Ukraine. We need to jump ship and stand besides Putin. Putin's got it right. Not as far as the Ukraine goes. You know, the bombers were caught flying over the English Channel, the Russian bombers. We need to join forces with Russia and fight the Queen. Not my words. FDR, Franklin Roosevelt's words. I will quote him over and over and over again. By the way, this whole dynamic goes full circle, the Red Sun. And I'm gonna post this video and I want people to understand, anybody who's so immature and so arrogant that they think that I'm speaking them somehow in an individual way, boy, do you fit in in this pop, isn't it? You're one arrogant person. I'm not speaking to anybody individually. I'm speaking to the world, and I'm speaking to the children. I'm speaking to future generations. I'm recording history. What is art? Nothing but communication. You know, I'm a student of Michelangelo. I'm a student of Jackson Pollock. You know, Michelangelo said it so best. Art is nothing but communication. Holy Moses, he was finished that 500 years ago. As far as what's going on in the live cams, or I'm gonna put them up, of course not. What it confirms is what my thesis has been. Is three blown up? Of course it blew up a long time ago. It's still blowing up. Four on fire? Of course it's on fire. One, two, three, four. They spent fuel on five and six. I've named it Fuktonium. All my cliches and my one-liners that evolved from this. You know, the Pacific Genocide, Barry Antoinette, Let Them Eat Yellow Cake, Science Fiction Economics, Black and Yellow Journalism, Steve Chinese Jobs, I have them by the hundreds, if not dozens, uh, dozens, but if not hundreds. You know, Fuktonium, that's the one, F-U-F-U, -F -U. you know, University, Fuktonium. 
their invisible fires are going on up there. And when we see the arcing in the live cams, we see what you call a raindrop or a snow, yeah, who knows? Who knows what the actual visual contact in the abstraction is, but in the concrete, in the reality, we know this. This is Fuktonia. This is gamma rays. This is China syndrome, nuclear fit. Never happened before. Didn't even happen at Chernobyl as evil. It never happened. Never happened. It's happening. The red sun, underground fire, absolutely. Above fire, oh, you can't see it? Bring a star power to Earth. Do you understand the power of the sun? 93 million miles away and it can still give you cancer. You know, we harness the sun in an opposite way. We tried to go abstract instead of being freaking in reality with the sun. The sun has heated this earth and humans for millions of years. You arrogant, you know, I'm a carpenter, what's a hammer? I'm a baker, what's a cake? I'm an environmentalist, what's Fukushima? You know, I can't believe my journey and my path and this thing, this is Fuktonium. There's heat being released and we know that as you pick it up in film, digitally, freaking, it doesn't matter, in a dark room. You know, these are new elements that are being released. This is the greatest ecological catastrophe in human history. The Pacific Ocean is dying all its inhabitants. As Rachel Carson said, you know, it's not the ocean per se, it's life. But isn't that the ocean? I mean, this is the Pacific. This isn't the Mediterranean. This is the mother. This is the spiritual being. You know, we need you young Mexicans. We need the young Mexicans so bad. You know, they've watched their parents be exploited here so hardcore. We need you to rise up and join with this in a logical way. You know, this is our earth. This is our animals. This is our creatures. This is our children. This is our lives. You know, so many baby boomers, they're so arrogant. They're sitting there, they're 60, 65, 68. They think they're going to live to 89. They're not, you know, because they think, oh, I'm in pretty good shape. I'm not, I, don't, I feel okay. It happens like that. It happened to me, you know, on... December of 2011, one day, you know, perfectly good shape, stomach ache, went into the fight of my life, and I've recorded this in history, and this is sad, you know, the emperor has no clothes on Balco, and I want to talk about the emperor has no clothes, my real last name would be Anderson with two E's, yeah, Christian, my grandfather, you know, so, my Danish bloodlines, my Danish philosophy, you know, it was a Danish doctor who saved my life. Two of them. You know, right from Copenhagen. Planet here, it's amazing. This is heartbreaking. The orcas mortality rate 100. You know, these scientists and these people that sit with their feet up on their desk regurgitating other people's information. And I want people to understand too. You don't get it? I'll start building some more. I've been building some uh, playlists through, you know, my videos, trying to get them Organize, this is visual literature. And it's always been said, literature changes around the edges. I've always disagreed with that. Literature is at the core of Herrick Beecher Stowe, Paul McKay Brody, freaking so many Americana. You know, I've tried. Oh, have I tried. You know, I know one guy who screamed his head off and went crazy, right down to letting you in his own room with his own bone marrow, freaking the fight of my life with ML Denuvo. Watch my walk in a very intimate way survive this brutal, brutal disease, but the orcas aren't surviving. This needs to be recorded in history. People's names, their addresses, the nuclear cartel, the orchestrators. I want people to very much understand Japan is the United States. Fukushima is General Electric. Fukushima is General Electric. Fukushima is Westinghouse. Hillary Westinghouse Clinton. The GOP on the far left, the NRC. I mean, really? America loves to rape the earth. Jobs, jobs, when they're creating no jobs. You know, science fiction economics has been a disaster, but there's even a bigger disaster. It's called nuclearism. Cal Berkeley, John Holdren, John Holdren, John Holdren. So many of these monsters, monsters, need to be recorded in history in name and address who genocided the Pacific Ocean. This is, a, this is the greatest ecological acute catastrophe in human history is ongoing. The dead starfish, the dead orcas, the dead freaking sea lions, the dead squid, all of it, up and down California. I've been there. I've witnessed it with my eyes, you know. You know, it's been four years, and now you scientists want to say something? Wait until it was dead? Wow. This is so sad, it makes me cry. The bald eagles right here dead. KSL, none of them even report. The environmental pollution right to their own death. Wow.
What a catastrophe. What a time, what a place, what a emperor has no clothes, what an event. Fukushima. The red sun, the red sun. China syndrome, burning into the earth, into the earth, down to the earth. My thesis, and I, well, I know. I've had this right in a Cassandra-like way. Now, might they have bloodlines and offspring of Cassandra? Absolutely, obviously. Economically, socially, philosophically, the emperor has no clothes. And oh, did I scream. And oh, did I get it absolutely right. You can go through all 1,500 of my videos. Show me where I ever got it wrong. Show me one time where I ever got it wrong. And even finance, economics. I did a video, go to the day, it was 1,900. Did a video to the day, silver to the top. Told you three, nine months ago. All in on Apple. And people want to know why, even before Fukushima happened, they want to know about my Apple gig. And they wanted to know why. Because Apple right now is making up almost 1% of our GDP. Just think about the buyout, Steve Chinese jobs. It used to be as GM goes, America goes. As Apple goes, America goes. You know, slavery, usury, everything wrong with America. Everything, contemporary sheep, branding. You know, the Super Bowl, we're gonna watch an athlete making 100 million while we make nothing. We support the cheaters, we love the cheaters. This is a sick culture. They've forgotten history, they've forgotten about Hamilton and the tariff before the Bill of Rights, the Patriot Act on Balco, mission accomplished. Well, now they freaking capitulated with the Pacific Genocide, death of the orcas. Sea world, sea world, you know, let's kill people. Wow. Russia. FDR, to Winston Churchill. You gotta remember, FDR wanted to share it. He wanted to share it all with Stalin. What happened? FDR died. Blame Truman? No, blame the American masses. Just like now. They don't wanna hear the truth. They can't handle the truth. Winston, I gotta tell you, I went to England when I was a boy. I saw Queen Victoria, I hated the old witch. We're going to take apart the royal system, every piece of it ever said. Well, let me tell you, Franklin, you're flying in the face of everything. Mother England, you, you damn right, we're flying in the face. We're taking all the royals. But they left one standing. They're back. The return of King George. We need to break ranks with the Queen as an American citizen. You know, Teddy, you know, Teddy Roosevelt did with that with a group of artists, a militia. He went in through the Spanish King out of Cuba. You know, he wanted to go into Canada, throw her out. We left one standing. We need to stand on the side. Not the Ukraine. I mean, what's going on in the Ukraine is horrible. There's two reactors over there in Meltdown. I could get no information. I'm trying. You know, the rebels have tried to storm them over and over and over and over. And I'll do another video today on plutonium wars and talk this about in detail. But we need to break ranks. We need to we need to stand beside the Russians this time. I mean, this whole thesis, the Cold War, all of it, was simple. Just because FDR died and we didn't share it. You know, if we share it, we let the Queen, the House of Windsor, the, the, the evil inbred freaking baby rapers, they still exist. And you want, oh, look, okay. And you think it's coincidence that new baby's named King George? Huh. No coincidence. Stay in tune. This is heartbreaking. 1914 in your head, history repeating itself.